Setting up Wi-Fi on Raspberry Pi is now a lot easier than it used to be. With the flagship Pi 3 and 4 computers having Wi-Fi boards built in, you don't have to scratch around buying dongles and add Wi-Fi to your projects. It's just baked in. Before, you had to know a little bit about chipsets and configuration and it was all a bit of a pain. It is possible, however, to get any Pi speaking to your router with just a little bit of knowledge and work. It used to be torture, now it's almost fun. So here is everything you need to know about Wi-Fi with your Raspberry Pi using the latest OS versions and both built-in and separate Wi-Fi. Old School Although the older standard Raspberry Pi Model Bs like the Pi 2 used to come with a built-in wired Ethernet, you may not know it, but they can also use Wi-Fi via a USB dongle. The Model A's and Zeros, of course, don't come with any Ethernet at all, unless you hack it quite hard. So using a Wi-Fi adapter of some kind is a good way without soldering or cutting to get networking into the thinner, lighter models. In most cases, simply plugging in a supported USB dongle and doing a simple bit of configuration will give your Pi access to wireless network. You can get USB Wi-Fi adapters for less than 10 bucks, but it's essential to buy one which is supported by the Raspberry Pi and Linux. A good option is the Realtek RTL8188CUS chipset. I've also had success with the dirt cheap Rarlink MediaTek MT7601U chipsets. Those really roll off the tongue, don't they? These compatible chipsets are supported by Raspbian right out of the box and no additional configuration is needed for it to be recognised during booting. Well, that's the plan anyway. The Raspberry Pi USB Wi-Fi adapters page link in the description, has a comprehensive list of the most supported wireless adapters. If you're considering buying a dongle, you should check that page for compatibility first. Once you have a compatible model, plug it into the USB adapter and boot your Raspberry Pi. Once booted, there are several ways to check if the adapter has been recognized. The easiest of these, of course, is to open up a terminal and type ifconfig. You should see a listing for ETH0, the built-in wired Ethernet port, if your Pi has one, and one for low the loopback device and if it's recognized wlan1 the wireless adapter if your wireless adapter is built in you will see wlan0 alternatively you can list the current usb devices attached to the pi using sudo lsusb the list should contain your wireless dongle you can see in my setup, for ease of demonstration, which is in fact a Pi 3, the list shows a Rowlink Technology Corp MT7601U wireless adapter. If you're using the desktop on Raspbian, then connecting to a wireless network is actually quite easy. Hover over the Wi-Fi icon on the taskbar to see the available associations. The other functions are left-click the icon to see available connections. A list of the available wireless networks will be shown along with their signal strengths, etc. To connect to one of the listed networks, click on the SSID. Other functions are right-click the icon to open the wireless and wired network settings. If your network settings are more involved, then you can set all the individual elements right there. Otherwise, if your dongle is detected, all you have to do is look for the correct Wi-Fi SSID, click on it and enter your password. Where all this comes in especially handy is with the Pies which don't come with Wi-Fi and you have an old one lying around which you'd like to turn into a game console or an internet radio. We'll talk about that another time. Using newfangled low-profile USB hubs, you can even turn an original Pi Zero into a Wi-Fi adapted Raspberry Pi. Of course, you can do this also natively in a Pi 2 with its built-in USB hub. Command line. A quick word about the command line. If you aren't using the desktop, then the Wi-Fi can be configured using the command line. In all likelihood, you shouldn't need to install anything on Raspbian. It should come with all the correct packages pre-installed. But if any of the commands or files mentioned below aren't available for some peculiar reason, then run this command to install them. sudo apt-get install wpa supplicant wireless-tools. The general network settings are configured in etc. network interfaces, while the Wi-Fi details are set in the etc. WPA underscore supplicant WPA underscore supplicant dot com file. Wow, that's hard to say. First edit the interfaces file. To get a list of the currently available wireless networks, use the IW list command. sudo IW list WLAN 0 or WLAN 1 scan. If there's too much information in that scan, use grep to find the fields you need. For example, to just see the ESSRDs, use sudo iwlist wlan1 or 0 scan vertical line grep ESSID. 
pick a network and add the network authentication information in the WPA supplicant.conf file. sudo nano slash etc slash WPA underscore supplicant underscore WPA underscore supplicant dot conf. Hopefully that's the last time I have to say that. The first two lines should already read as follows. Now to add your network, add the following network equals curly bracket SSID equals and your SSID PSK equals and your password key underscore management equals WPA dash PSK and curly brackets. If your router is configured using WEP for encryption, then the network information will look like this. Once you've done all of that, press Control and X to exit Nano and save the file. Finally, reboot your Pi. sudo reboot. You can check the status of the wireless connection using ifconfig to see if WLAN0 or WLAN1 has acquired the IP address and iwconfig to check which network the wireless adapter is using. New school. All of the above applies to the new generation of Raspberry Pis, the Pi 3 and the Pi 4, but the difference being that the dongle doesn't have to be detected or configured, it's already there and it just needs to be turned on. On the desktop, left click on the Wi-Fi icon on the taskbar and turn on your Wi-Fi. Now the menu should contain all of the available Wi-Fi sources. Pick one, type in the password and you're golden. Okay, if you have any questions about wireless on the Raspberry Pi, please ask them in the comments and we'll see if we can help. Okay. As always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.